from the time Kyle was in probably first grade, um, his dad helped him with homework every single night and they would spend anywhere from one to three hours working on homework every single night. And when Kyle was in 10th grade, he pretty much said, I don't want your help with my homework anymore. He was developing all sorts of rebellion um, things and that's when his struggles really started with school. He came for the open house um, in February and Kyle immediately said, I have to go there. They're the only people that are going to fix me. He said, you guys can't fix me. We had given him a laptop computer for graduation, um, assuming that he would go on to community college and he would need a computer while well, he became addicted to his computer. It actually came down to we had to take his computer from him. Um, and that was very, very difficult for him. He struggled with that. We kept his computer, I think, for two years. Um, and he didn't have his computer for the first at least six months that he was at CIP. And then in working with um, Katie and Charles um, and in the growth that he did here, we were able to give him back his computer. And he has been very, very good with it since. He's never um, abused it. He doesn't go to chat rooms anymore. He uses it only for what he needs to use it for. He loves to do the weekend activities and not all of them cost money. Some of them are free. And when he started becoming more involved with his checkbook and his money and things that he wanted to do or buy, he realized, well, if I want to buy this, then I need to pick a weekend activity that isn't going to cost money because I'm going to need that money for this thing that I want to buy. So he was able to start putting those things together. I once we moved him in, I didn't see him. I think until Thanksgiving. And it was like, he was so different. You know, just like that, just those three months that I didn't, three or four months that I didn't see him, you know, he was willing to help out of the house. He didn't lock himself up in his bedroom. Um, you know, he wanted to be with the family when we made Thanksgiving dinner, which ordinarily he would have just sat on the couch and watched, you know, the parade or the football game and, you know, lunch with my dad. But instead he was like, hey, come on, can I help out in the kitchen? You know, what are you doing, dad? Can I help you with the turkey? And that was really cool. You know, our whole family dynamic has changed. And, and bringing him here, moving him in was so exciting. That first year when he moved in, we got his, you know, got his new room. And it was sort of like sending your kid to college, you know, you go out and get your dorm supplies and all the things he's gonna need for school. And so we got all the things that he would need for CIP. And we, we brought him up here that first year and, and he moved into his room and he was so excited. Um, I didn't even cry. <laughs> <laughs> there was another mother dropping off her son and she said she cried the whole way home and I was like really I'm just so excited I'm so excited for him one of the biggest changes I've seen with him is he's more aware of the things around him or the people around him and the, their their feelings or their thoughts or um, when he was home on break I had to go to Boston to help his sister move and um, I had talked about when I came home I needed to do this and I needed to do that before I went back to work and one of the things that had to be done was the house had to be clean and I said you know I'm coming home on Monday on Tuesday um, you gotta get the house clean well on my drive home which is a 10 hour drive on Monday he cleaned the whole house he knew it had to be done he wanted to do that to help me out and that's something he never would have done before. He um, anticipates or can read now more what's going on inside of another person. He's more in tune with other people's um, thoughts and feelings. Mom and dad saw him at home when he was in high school, but I got to see him at school and the amount of confidence that he has grown from just this program alone and being here with people just like him and having you guys help him. He has so much more confidence now and I'm really glad that he's here and my parents have been able to put him through this because it's, he's changed so much. And finally being able to be who he is, is I think liberating for him. As parents of learning disabled kids, we are so good at holding on and controlling our children and 
showing them where to go or helping them out with everything that it's really hard to let go. Um, but you have to because your child will not get the benefits of CIP of learning how to become independent, learning how to function on their own, learning how to take care of themselves if we constantly call them, check up on them, bother them. I think Kyle would say that he never wants to leave the program. Um, he loves being here. The minute we came for the open house, he's like, Mom, I've come home. This is home. I feel like I've come home. And he loves to be here. He loves to be with the students. Um, he loves being involved in the drama club. Um, I think he would never want to leave. If, if, if you guys told him he could stay here forever, I think he would. Thank you.